The new code 2020 has been uh, reduced in length. So basically we shortened the board and increased the V and redistributed the volume to uh, eventually get more speed and uh, earlier planing and more control and comfort in general. And what we wanted to do this year was to really make the wave side of it shine. So one way that we managed to achieve that is to supply the board not only with a free wave and free ride fin, but also with a thruster set. So every single size from the 85, 95, the 105 and the new 115, they all come with two sets of fins. I like the way it feels on the, on the small waves and as well on the bigger waves. It's easy for giving turning and uh, it keeps the speed from the bottom all the way up and uh, in general it's just like an easy windsurfing board. We came up with a shape that is a lot more compact. So similar to the new generation of compact onshore wave boards by making the nose shorter but also by making the tail shorter. To bring the most out of the wave performance, we've uh, indicated exactly where our recommended mass track position is, which is a lot further back, and also the best foot strap positions, and then the recommended position for the thruster setup. Switching over to free wave, then you can see our recommended positions for the mass track, where we would recommend putting the foot strap positions. For free wave, you can still use the thruster setup, it doesn't give you that lifty feeling, and you still feel like you're going really fast. And then finally comes the free ride settings. There you move the mass track a little bit further forward. Definitely put in a single fin. And if you want, put these foot straps in the outboard settings. And then you have a board that is actually pretty, pretty fast. Technology wise, they're available in the Flax Balsa, our lightweight, lowest carbon footprint technology that uses the innovative end grain Balsa sandwich bottom.